I am in a new apartment, I have a new setup, and this is my first video here. So this is exciting, I got this a couple days ago. I searched Anchor, newest arrivals, and I came across this Anchor USB-C hub model A83S1. Yeah, that's A83S1. This is for the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, and many other handhelds. So I'm also recording this video from my iPhone 15 and I'll be editing it in Premiere. So that's pretty simple. All right, so we have the instruction booklet, which is pretty normal for Anchor. They include a QR code that you need to scan. I have the official dock through Valve, but you know, this is Anchor, so I had to get it. First thing I noticed is it has rubber feet on the bottom. It's got rubber in here, so it has something nice and grippy and also keeps it from getting scratched. You have a power delivery, so this will do 100 watts in, and this will do 90 watts out. We have that HDMI port. We have a ethernet port. We have a fast, like five gigabit. Yeah, it says on there five gigabits per second for the USB-A, and then we have a USB-C that is five gigabits as well. And then we have a generic USB to uh, just for mouse and keyboard. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try this out. So, well, first of all, my Steam Deck has an update. So, so let me get a 100 watt anchor power adapter. All right, so we have an HDMI cable going to our monitor. We have a 100, 40 watt adapter. It's going to be powering the dock. This will show us how much we have for power coming in. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that up to the dock. So we're gonna use that power delivery port there. I'm gonna flip this little screen around. Unfortunately, that's not gonna come out very well on camera, but you don't have to take my word for it. All right, so the biggest reason I like these docks is let's go to our downloads here. All right, so let's install Half-Life 2 to the internal storage because it's a two terabyte NVMe and it's a very fast one actually. And the biggest thing here is the download for Wi-Fi on the Steam Deck is actually not great at all. So games actually take quite a while to download. So a way to fix that, as you can see, we're going at about eight. I think I normally see about 10 or 11. But so let's go ahead and connect this to the dock. Let's pause that download. I'm gonna connect that cable here. I'm gonna connect a ethernet cable to the back of it here. And then we're gonna hook up a mouse and keyboard combo. So it's on the left side. It was transferring over the network and it was going at 25 megabytes per second. That's actually pretty fast, but we want to see if we can get a game to download even faster. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place it in the dock. Fits in there kind of nice. We're going to plug in that USB-C cable that is angled. And now I'm going to switch my monitor over to HDMI. All right, so over here we have our ethernet. I'm downloading this game on my computer first. Because now we're going to use the Steam like transfer process. Where this is my Steam Deck, this is my PC. Alright, so it should initiate a network transfer. Just pay attention to the send. So we're getting 6 megabits per second on the send. Let's click the download button. And let's see how much faster this happens over a dock. So install. All right, so now it's downloading and it's doing a network transfer. Watch how freaking fast this is. It's gonna go, so now it's sending at one gigabit per second. Yeah, 1,000. And we're transferring at 70, 80, 90. This game is gonna be done. Yeah, 98. And it's done. That was so much faster than using Wi-Fi.
Anytime a game has an update on my Steam Deck, I update it on my computer first, and then I connect my Steam Deck to wired internet. As you can see, we are using Ethernet, and the game downloads so much faster. And we're currently getting 20 megabytes. <laughs> We're currently charging at 20 watts. So if we launch a game, and now I'm using an Xbox controller. Wow, this is the first time I've used. What in the world? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so we got an Xbox controller here. Let's play Hell Divers. Let's see how much power that can draw. All right, so we're loaded in. And we are currently charging at 40 watts from the wall. Now I don't have an ROG Ally anymore because I was within my return window and the ROG Ally X was announced. So I went ahead and returned it and I'll be getting the X instead. So that thing can charge at 65 watts, the old one could. So I wonder if the new one will be able to charge any faster. But there you go. We're getting 40 watts from the wall going into the dock and then our Steam Deck is receiving that power. All right, just as a brief little test, I started up Resident Evil 4, the remake, and yeah, I'm also getting 39 watts, almost 40. All right, that about concludes this video and wraps it up. This is a pretty cool dock. All right, and that, for my last trick, this is my iPad mini six, and uh, yeah. I'm using that same exact dock. All I did was take the cable and put it into the side of my iPad mini here. And now I can see my comments. And with a keyboard, I can reply. It's seriously the best iPad mini is awesome. And then send. So that's pretty cool. So I've been playing some Clash of Clans. I kind of want to see what happens here. Oh, cool. Look at this. So I collect all my coins. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. My town hall is just a level six. I'm just a little baby when it comes to the game. So uh, I freaking suck at this game, by the way. I... <laughs> I don't know. It's I'm new to it, so I've only been playing it a couple days now. Uh, maybe uh, okay, so a few now, like four or five. But um, anyways, I can go ahead and go to the next level that I've been failing at miserably, and I can just you know have all my guys absolutely destroyed instantly and drop a little present for these guys. And then these guys are instantly going to die because they're balloons and the towers are going to destroy them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. This is directly off my iPad. This isn't screen mirroring. This is using the output. So, And then we're using a mouse to play. And you saw me type with a keyboard. And now I killed all my guys so I need to go make a whole bunch more <laughs> I'm literally editing this video on my MacBook using the dock right there as you can see we are currently charging or we can charge it up to 90 watts and since my battery is full and I'm not really pushing this MacBook as hard as it can go it's only charging at 35 watts okay so now we are actually pushing the MacBook just doing a little thing here and um we're gonna see how high this can go. All right, you get the idea. So we have our MacBook Pro over one port, which is type C, going to this display at 1440p. And we have ethernet. Yep, we have ethernet going. As you can see, Wi-Fi is currently off. And I'm currently charging my phone using that other output port that's on the dock. My phone's charging using that port. All right, now this definitely wraps it up. I just realized I could have used the game, this game controller to play like Asphalt or something, but whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that wraps it up. This little dock is pretty cool. And as you can see, it works with uh, the Steam Deck. It works with uh, RG Ally, they say. 
It works with a, a lot of things, including an iPad mini. Uh, I do not have my iPad Pro. If you follow my YouTube community page or my Twitter, I returned it today because I just, I, I couldn't justify keeping it. I love my mini so much. It's, it's such a great device and uh, it's so portable and light and easy to carry and hold with one hand and play with. And ah, I, I love the iPad mini for doing tablet things. And now with this dock, I can put my iPad mini on a big TV or my RG Ally X or my Steam Deck, anything that supports the Type-C output. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe if you're new here. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.